Okay guys, uh, today we're going to be showing you how to fix uh, bottleneck issues with your CPU. If you, for example, bought a GPU which is kind of a bit stronger uh, or yeah, not really that suitable for your CPU. Maybe you're saving money yet uh, to buy a new CPU or a new motherboard. So this could be uh, like a remedy that we can think of so that you can utilize your uh, GPU to its full potential um, and without or reducing the bottleneck uh, with your CPU as well so first off um, I have a GTX 1660 Ti and I have like an i5 7400 which is um, you know 40% bottleneck um, you know I still don't have that enough money yet to buy a new CPU so this is the remedy that I can think of and I want to share it to you guys as well so first off we will right click on the screen and then go to NVIDIA control panel okay what we will do is we will improve the graphics quality uh, of your games so that you'll be able to utilize the um, uh, your GPU alright so we will make use of the capability of your GPU um, and then make sure that we will use 99% or 100% of it okay so what we can what we'll do is uh, we first go to this um, well, first we need to go to adjust image settings preview and then we need to go to click I mean we need to click on use the 3d advanced uh, 3D image settings. All right, and then we need to go to manage 3D settings. Okay, for global settings, we can you know, click on this one, image sharpening. We need to go to click. I mean, turn it on. Go to GPU scaling. Click on that, and then just put it on 0.50. And then for film grain or ignore film grain, you can put it on 0.17. All right, this is what my settings are, uh, and uh, it kind of works for me. Uh, for ambient occlusion, we can put it on performance, but you can also put it on quality depending on you. All right, but I just put it on performance on my end. For anisotropic filtering. I just put it on application controlled anti-aliasing FXAA or anti-aliasing alright I don't know I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that correctly I just put it on on um, this one as well gram, gram, I mean gamma correction I put it on on as well uh, anti-aliasing mode oh yeah I remember the pronunciation now anti-aliasing mode I put it on application controlled uh, for anti-aliasing transparency, I put it on off. And uh, CUDA GPUs, you just need to make sure that we put it on all. Click your uh, GPU. Okay. Uh, click your GPU. And then DSR factors. Okay, this is one of the most important uh, thing that we need to set on this control panel. So we just... Uh, uh, need to click a 1.50, 1.78, 2, uh, 2.25, 3, and 4. This is how you can change the resolution of your games. Alright, so because you have a bottleneck CPU and GPU, uh, or your GPU is stronger than your CPU, so your CPU can't catch up, uh, what we can do is you can, in some games that are, you know, not, th uh, in some games that are CPU intensive, you can uh, you can add or you can uh, should I say increase your resolution of your um, resolution of your game to 2k resolution or 4k uh, if your GPU can handle it because what's gonna do is it's gonna increase the usage of your GPU significantly so you will be able to uh, maximize your GPU usage and also uh, enjoy the best quality that it can produce alright so for that one for la low latency mode we just put it on off okay multi-frame sampled AA just put it on off as well 
OpenGL rendering GPU just make sure your GPU is selected on that part power management put it on prefer maximum performance uh, refresh rate yeah highest available just to put it on that shader cache just put it on on yeah I tried to do some benchmarking on this and I'm getting a, a better result on turning it on but maybe it depends on your computer as well but uh, for that one you just need to make sure that you erase all right like for example where is that okay maybe like once a week you do a little um, should I say disk I mean disk cleanup okay because it saves like there it saves the rec x shader cache it saves a file I have like 124 MB now so you can just delete that occasionally maybe once a week depending on you alright depending on how much gaming you do uh, for texture filtering negative load LOD bias I put it on clamp okay uh, because this is um, for better image quality than allow so put it on clamp okay and texture filtering of course you put it in a high quality so that you can make use of your GPU threaded optimization I put it on on alright um, but if your GPU I mean if your CPU is really really weak alright uh, you can just turn it off because it takes much CPU as well uh, for vertical sync actually um, you know if there are some games that you could reach like for example your monitor is 144 Hertz so you can produce like 144 frames maximum of that if you turn on your vertical sync so for games like um, RPG games single-player games that you don't really need th more than 144 <coughs> uh, frames I suggest that you turn it on and then you um, you turn it on and then you uh, turn on the triple buffering it really increase the performance of your computer it gives you uh, s uh, more smooth gaming and also uh, it gives you higher frames but not higher than 144 but uh, it gives you higher frames compared to turning off the vertical sync or v-sync and then turning off the triple buffering but uh, I did an experiment uh, some test on this one on three or four games and it really gave me um, significant results so those are uh, the settings that we can do on NVIDIA control panel alright so for virtual reality pre-rendered frames you put it on one as well so there just we just cancel that one okay Okay, let's go back to it. Let's see. And for the next part, I don't want to mess up my settings, so I <laughs> just click on cancel. Okay, oh, it uh, kind of saved it. Okay, so here, just put it on off. Turn up optimization. Put it on. Uh, okay so triple buffering uh, just turn it on on and vsync on to okay yeah we just leave it as it is all right so apply click on apply all right and once you um, apply the settings you can go to configure surround physics and then um, select your GPU as well here okay for resolution you just need to select the highest resolution that you can get and then the highest uh, hertz that you can get to okay there yeah all the same uh, just uh, you know click default on these settings uh, did not really uh, made a change a lot okay uh, so there uh, just uh, just on the manage 3d settings uh, that's the only part that we need to set so that you can maximize your gaming performance and also for you to be able to um, 
or I should I say maximize your GPU usage as well there's another step that you could do uh, which is to um, which is to uh, turn off the HPET or HPET or high uh, precision event timer okay this one you just need to right click on this so first off we need to uh, go to my computer or my PC you right click on that okay you right click on that part and then you go to uh, oh sorry device manager you click on device manager okay and then you go to scroll down to serve system devices and right click on precision event timer and then uh, disable it right click and disable all right I mean it's disabled already but um, you know if you will be experiencing some issues on some applications you can turn it on but me every time I every time I uh, play games all right I, I turn it off all right but you know I leave it off I uh, don't have any issues at all with other applications and uh, also before I start my game I usually uh, set uh, I go to my computer system advanced and performance and then go to best performance and then I click on apply alright and every time I finish the game I just turn it on again there okay so um, that is to uh, uh, restore it back to its original settings and also I have um, uh, should I should say I also have uh, an MSI afterburner as well. This uh, this is where I can see the overlay and uh, I can monitor how much usage or how uh, high um, the percentage of GPU usage is. So I will be able to see if my computer is really at or my GPU is really working at its hundred uh, percent. There's nothing wrong if. Uh, G your your GPU will not be affected if it's uh, running on 100% all the time. Uh, you know, uh, as long as you just set the fan curve here. You no, know, set your fan curve. Okay, so that you'll be able to. Um, so that your temperature will be stabilized, right? Or or stabilized. So we just need to make sure that our temperature would not go up to. Um, 90 of course well we can just increase this temperature limit to 89 um, because for example if your temperature is too high and then um, sometimes it might throttle if it's near the limit it might throttle and it might cause some it might cause some uh, frames or uh, it might affect your frames it might lower it down so me uh, that's what I do I just put it on high here you know, 89 maximum and then I just manually set my uh, fan speed to maybe 80% depending on the game or 86% or 90% sometimes depending on the game yeah so but it um, you know it I only have like maybe around about 60 to 70 degrees uh, maximum of temperature on my GPU all right on even on triple a games like uh, <coughs> Tom Raider all right so that's it um, that's the uh, first part of this video uh, on my next uh, on my next video I'm gonna be showing you uh, more uh, uh, tweaks that we could do to improve your gaming experience on your PC you know next time we will um, I will uh, show how to utilize the CPU this time all right and uh <coughs> how to uh how to increase um or how to uh overclock your gpu as well on the next video so guys thanks for watching your video uh thanks for watching watching this video so please uh, don't forget to click and subscribe and click like on the video uh thank you until the next video bye bye